All right, little brother. Let's see what it is you got me for my birthday. So you told me you bought me, uh, and I know you took advantage of the Criterion Collection flash sale. Boogie for you. <laughs> More like boogie for me. <laughs> and you told me you got me something, which was mad nice. You didn't have to do that. That's like super cool of you. I'm very happy. Uh, it arrived today, as you informed me, because you know more about my home than I do. <laughs> by the way, check it out, by the way. Really random, too. So when it came, I'm looking over the box. As you can see, right, they noted that I'm the Gary Lime Kung Fu Master. That's so weird. Like, I never even told them that. They just, like, apparently when they saw the name and the address, they were like, oh, this is for Gary Lime. He's a master of Kung Fu. We should put that on there. That's weird how they would do that, right? Like, like it, it's not like someone, it's not like, you know, someone put on a cool hat and a red shirt and wrote that in there with a the Sharpie. No, 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 no. Someone from Criterion put that on there. Yeah, yeah, believe that. <laughs> but I'm going to open this here for you and uh, do a little surprise. You know, so I, I wanted to get, I wanted to get the live surprise reaction of it. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm very shocked because, um. I, I I bought stuff. I bought um the I actually have it over here. I bought the Parallax View and the Eclipse Larissa Shapitka, uh, Shapitko. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Uh, I bought these two, and it came in like a really nice looking envelope. You know what I mean? Like a nice little join. And I was like, like it's kind of like a, like a weird flat like press. There's probably a really technical name for it that I'm just completely skipping on. But, like, when I saw the box, I was like, what did Todd do? <laughs> like, this didn't come in, like, the small little joint I got. Todd got me something in a box. <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is what it is. As you can see, take a good look here. We're in the writing station in Brooklyn. Uh, we have a couple favorites from you, Todd. You can see the, the Third Man Criterion. Third Man Criterion Collection laser disc all the way in the background. Yeah, that's right. Good looking on that one. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Before I forget again, thank you very much for the birthday present. Very nice of you. Um, very surprised. I don't know. I'm curious because you didn't even give me any clues as to like which one you were gonna get me, and like I was, I was kind of like, I, I like part of me wanted to text you and be like, "Yo, uh, why don't you give me a clue?" But then I was like. Don't be lame, Gary. <laughs> Literally had that inner conflict with myself. Like, you know, I'm like, like you're going to find out like in three, four days. I'm like, yeah, but I can't wait that long. <laughs> I'm really, really surprised here. Hold on. Let's put our, that guy in there because I would be the guy to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Accidentally just pick it up like, shh, you know. <laughs> we got the receipt, but we're not going to look at the receipt. So that way we are surprised. When we see it, I don't want this not to ruin it for me. So let's see what we got here, my little Joni. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh shit, Todd! What the fuck, Todd? Todd! <laughs> you didn't have to give me all this stuff. <laughs> I thought you were getting. You told me you got me a movie. <laughs> this is like more than one. The fuck? <laughs> Let's go through this joint. Nice. <laughs> the Basil Dreardon London Underground box set. Yo, let me tell you, there's a really great movie on here called Victim, and what's the other one? All Night Long. All Night Long is a really, really cool movie. It's um, uh, it, it's a jazz retelling. I guess probably not fair way. It's a retelling of Othello with a jazz band. In like 1960s, in like swinging London in the 60s, it's such a great idea. And then Victims, this beautiful movie with Dark Bo is it Dark Bogart. I always pronounce his first name wrong. Yeah, Dark Bogart is really, really great. It's about these guys who are all being blackmailed and everything. Todd, this is dope. And like the crazy thing is, like you can't find the Basil stuff, Basil Dearden stuff anywhere. Like it's so hard to find in print. And then like when you do, it's always like you know. A copy of a copy of a copy that was like burned underwater. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you remember those underwater bootleg? We used to call them underwater bootlegs in the villas. You remember that? Where we'd get like um, Ricky would come back from Queens with all these like cassette tapes, and like they were all sounded so like bootleg that like you could he like you could hear the hissing of the cassette more than the music. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we loved them anyway. <laughs> Todd, this is fantastic. Thank you very much. Like, I'm still in shock that you got me one, two, three, like five movies. What the hell, man? Like, I thought you was just going to be like, all right, here's one. Go. Like, dude. <laughs> like, this is, I'm, 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 a, I am, I am quite speechless on the matter. And I know that doesn't, that doesn't happen for me nearly enough. <laughs> see what else we got here. 40 gods. Yeah. <laughs> Good looking out, man. Good looking out. Samuel Fuller is a genius. Um, 40 Guns is about... It's kind of cool because, like, it's like a Western where there's no good guys. But because it's a Sam Fuller movie. Sam Fuller made... Um, he made, like, all these great movies from the based on the 1950s. He's kind of a bit of an iconoclast. He's like... He's kind of like... An, he's an independent filmmaker, more or less. But, like... He's also worked within the Hollywood system, so he's kind of like inside outside a little bit. He did uh, the Naked Kiss, which is a really really great movie. Um, Shock Corridor is a really good one. Uh, he did this really crazy movie called White Dog. <laughs> it's a riot too. It's a funny. It's a. It's better than it should be funny but not meant to be funny movie it's really really good but 40 guns is dope because that's like that it's a western with barbara stanwick barbara stanwick's the um you've seen the movie double indemnity the the chick in the movie double indemnity that's barbara stanwick and she just plays this badass in this in this western like ranch town that she like runs shit in and then like her son like runs afoul of the law. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that phrase. We got You know what? That's what we got to do, Todd. We got to start bringing back the phrase run afoul. It's just not a phrase that people use anymore. Like, you know what I mean? And start using it just casually. Like, oh, I ran afoul of the guy at the supermarket. Word? What happened? Oh, you know, we had this argument about this, that, about something being on sale and me not getting the discount. Like, we got to start using that phrase run afoul. That's, that's the new, that's the new move. <laughs> Todd, this is awesome. It has a cool cover, too. <laughs> what else did you get me? Oh, ghost dog! Oh. <laughs> there he is, the mighty Forest Whitaker! <laughs> A.K.A. Etienne! <laughs> I told you that joke where, like, we, um... Uh, we, uh, my mutual friend, Etienne, we, uh, we all refer to him as ghost dog because... Like, if there's any character in a movie that Etienne most physically resembles, sounds like, and, like, has the same philosophy of, and has, like, damn near the exact same clothes, is Ghost Dog. I mean, like, if you were to put the two of those guys next to each other, you'd be like, oh, they hired Etienne to make a, you know, a, 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 a television version, re a television movie remake of Ghost Dog. <laughs> I don't mean to diss him. He's a cool dude. Dude, this is awesome, too, because this just came out, like, last year, too. The the new, the Criterion Edition. You might not know this, Todd. This was the first, not this version, but the, the, the other, the previous edition of the DVD was the first DVD I ever bought. That and uh, Seventh Seal. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Says everything you need to know about Gary. <laughs> dude, this is fucking awesome, dude. This is so great. What were you, why did you buy me all this stuff, man? Like, you don't have to be that nice and shit. <laughs> I'm a guest. Like, I literally thought you were buying me one movie. Like, because that's what you said in the fucking text message. Now I got all this stuff. This is cool as shit, man. <laughs> uh, this is such a good movie, dude. And I haven't seen the new print yet either. Like, on the deep. I haven't seen any of the bonus features or none of the whatchamacallit. So I'm really looking forward to see how this turns out, man. This is going to be pretty cool. This might be tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I have a few to choose from now. Oh, yes! Husbands! So, we, we might have talked about this before. I'm a, like, I, I love John Cassavetti's movies, and I find him to be, like, like an inspiration for my own work. And they had made this really, really nice box set with, like, I think it was, like, six or seven of his movies. Because the man put out, like, he just kept popping them out. And, like, and they're all dope. They're all really good. I'm trying to think of something you would know John Cassavetti's for. Um... If you've seen Rosemary's Baby, the the husband, the the, 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 act, <laughs> the guy who sells his wife 
in order to in a deal to the devil in order to become a famous actor. <laughs> yeah, that's John Cassavetes. <laughs> Yeah, right? Just typical actor, like, oh, take my wife, give me a movie career. <laughs> but no, they made this great box set, and it was so great, and the only p bummer about the box set was that it didn't, the box set didn't include Husbands, which is another great movie of his, and then they put this out, like, last year. Oh, this is awesome, dude. It's a really great movie about three um, men who are, like, long life, like, lifelong friends. They're all kind of now in their mid-40s. And there's they had the three of them have a mutual friend who had just passed, and so they go on this like week long bender, up and down New York, and kind of, it's it, it's it doesn't sound like a plot to a movie, which is like all John Cassavetes movies. There's like there's never a plot in his movies. There's never like a back of the blocks explanation that makes sense. But like then you watch it and you're like, ha, they don't make movies like this. This is amazing. It's so good. This has got um. Ben Gazzara, and what's the other guy's name? Oh, Peter Falk, Columbo. Columbo's in this. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Thank you so much. To oh, shit, there's another one. Oh, I've never seen this movie. Following? This is always the movie I keep, like, we've talked about this before. Like, you have that list of stuff, and you're like, okay, I'm only going to buy the top, like, two or three things on my list, and then the next one's number four. And then you're like, damn. And then, like, Months later, you'll be like, okay, well, I'm only buying the, the four or five things on this list. And then this was number six. And you're like, damn. And that's been going on forever. Dude, I never have. Oh, thank you. Following's um, Christopher Nolan's first movie. Christopher Nolan, the guy who did uh, Inception and all those Batman movies. Uh, really good director. We like him. <laughs> uh, dude, this is awesome. And this, it, I know it comes with like a mountain of, yeah, it comes with like a mountain of bonus features. You know, like, you know your brother well. Like, your brother likes bonus features. I'm curious, like, why you chose these four, five, god damn, even more than that, it's four, five, six, seven, eight movies. I'm curious to know why you chose these. these. This is fantastic of you, Todd. You really did not need to do this. I am shocked and aghast and appalled and amazed. <laughs> All at the same time. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Like, I literally thought you were going to be like... Yeah, well, they're on sale. It was only 15 bucks plus shipping made 20 so whatever. I'm just going to have it mailed to you. And so, like, when I saw the box, which, you know, when I saw the box, I was like, well, mine didn't come in a box, and I only bought, like, and I bought two things. So I was like, wait a minute, did Todd buy me more than one thing? Like, he should have done it. He said, oh, he said one. I was like, he must have bought, they must have put, like, extra packaging or something. Dude, you didn't have to buy me all this. This is so nice. I don't really like shit, like, aw. <laughs> Like I'm like oh, like I'm I'm quite touched. This is nice, little brother. Thank you, thank you very much, Todd. This is I'm 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 amazed. Like I'm completely flabbergasted. Like I got westerns, I got kung fu, and I got Peter Falk, <laughs> and I got Columbo. <laughs> I got jazz music. I got like this is great, Todd. Thank you so much, man. This is really cool of you. You did not have to be this nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's um, I'm quite I'm I'm quite taken. I was not like, like I was gonna be like thrilled and excited with like you know with one movie. Be like hell yeah, dude, we're putting this on tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's gonna make up for the healthy eating. I do that now, by the way. That's become my thing. Where now I um, I reward myself by eating healthy by doing other shit. That's probably that you know like I'll put on a cool movie, but like. Uh, like 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 well, I'll 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 do something cool or fun more so than I normally would have because I know I ate healthy today because like I gotta lose this weight man <laughs> and I was all pumped for that I was like word I know when you got so when I got your text I was like word cool you know like gonna have a little you know, gotta have a movie waiting for me that's gonna be awesome dude this is amazing like thank you Todd thank you very much I'm I'm quite touched this is quite nice of you thank you. I wanted to, like, send a video to be like, oh, cool, like, we'll see Gary shocked and surprised. Now I'm all, like, like touched by it. Like, this is quite nice, dude. Holy shit, this has got, like, yeah, I was gonna say, this has got League of Gentlemen in it. Oh, great movie, League of Gentlemen. That, oh, Todd, thank you. Um, wow, I feel a certain kind of way right now. <laughs> I'm all, like, I'm all, like, speechless and stuff. Like, wow. I, I should probably close this video because it's it's long enough now. <laughs> you're like, why are you just going to watch me staring at boxes? Todd, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I love you. This is super awesome of you. Um, You didn't have to do this, man. This was like...
This is way nicer than you had to be. Like, <laughs> you don't have to do any of this. This is cool. Thank you very much, man. I I'm gonna go, because... Now I got stuff to watch. <laughs>